Hello everyone, this is Hasha. Welcome to my channel, Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about Zai Blockchain. We'll talk about everything about this particular blockchain. and they have started this Sentry Key Sale. So how, why, uh, why to buy this, how to buy this, and how to run and set up the node both on your desktop and cloud. Everything will be shown in this video. Watch this video till the end. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment section below. So this video like that is final like so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video guys. So guys first thing let's talk about this particular uh, blockchain and then we'll talk about why to set up and run the node. So first thing Zai is a block gaming based blockchain and this is developed code developed by none other than off chain lab. So if you're not aware of off chain lab just go and google it. This is one of the uh, this this uh, uh, one of the largest L2 which is Arbitrum is developed by the same lab. So Offchain Labs has launched Arbitrum and now they have teamed with Xi and they co-developed this Xi blockchain. So Xi blockchain is a basically a gaming blockchain and it is a L3 solution. So we all know that L1 is Ethereum and then we have some L2s on Ethereum just like Arbitrum. Now they have added one more concept new one which is L3. So Xi is a L3 layer 3 solution which is built on top of Arbitrum. So that's why this is a layer 3 solution. But why is there is a need of layer 3? So if, even if you see Arbitrum is a uh, scaling L2 solution, but even though if you want to do a transaction, it will charge you around 0.2 to 0.3 dollars. So this particular uh, fees may not be feasible for gaming based a uh, blockchain based game. So that's why layer 3 Zai is introduced specifically for gaming and the gas fees will be very low and the transaction throughput also will be more. So that is a small background about Zai and now this particular project is the co-developed by Opchain Labs and it is well backed project and they have announced this uh, Zai node option. So in which any user can purchase this sentry uh, key and they can run node on their system. So first thing why should you run this project node? So I'll tell you the background before that if you I'll keep this link in the description below just go check out this 40 seconds video about the project so you'll get the clear cut idea about who is the project who is backing them and other stuff. So now why to purchase this sentry key. So this particular project uh, he's having a certain uh, uh, node setup is not as usual. So for example we have done node setup of uh, Alio node in our channel Shadium so multiple other nodes we have run. So all we have to do is we have to purchase a VPS and run the code and our node will be set and running. But this particular Xi Gaming nodes are not normal nodes, not open nodes. These are exclusive nodes, which means to run this node, you need to have this sentry key in your wallet. So only sentry key holders will be able to run this node. But why should you run the node? So main question is that. So the answer is reward. So you will be rewarded with the project tokens, Xi tokens when you run the node. So the longer you run the node, so higher you will be earning the rewards. So now. Uh, that is a small background but in case if you want to purchase this sentry key right now to run the node each sentry key is selling at around 0.46 ethereum so that is around after discounts i'll share you one discount code by using that you'll get five percent discount by using that you'll get five percent discount so it'll be costing around 0.44 ethereum so at today's price 2300 dollars is the ethereum price 0.444 equal to around 1021 dollars you need to spend to purchase one sentry key so now uh, let's talk about other stuff and then you will come to know why you should purchase the key and why I have purchased the key and why I'm running the node. So let's talk about the rewards emission structure. So before that, if you see right now, we are there are total uh, 22,238 sentry uh, node keys were sold and they have pulled around $10.5 million already raised in this sentry uh, key sale. So that is very huge in couple of days of sale. Now. Right now total 22,000 keys are sold out so after uh, once it reaches this point uh, it will move to the next tier the price will be around 0.538 ethereum per to per nft and you if you think you can sell this to uh, sell this nft once the price is up you cannot do that because these are sold bond tokens these are non transferable tokens which means if you buy them in one wallet you need to use that specific wallet only throughout the life so this particular nft cannot be transferred to another valid or it cannot be sold on OpenSea so that you should keep in mind. So now let's talk about the emission. So how much rewards or how much tokens you'll be able to make by running this node. So the tokenomics will discuss. So there are two tokens in this ecosystem. One is Xi and one is ESI. ESI is nothing but escrow Xi. 
so both are same though escrow joy if we, you once you uh, start running a node you will be farming escrow joy in your uh, node and that can be converted into joy once the joy token is listed on exchange or once the token generation event is done now so you can see the total maximum supply is around 2.5 billion tokens uh, for the joy so now with that said so if you see this uh, uh, scenario 1 so where the emission of tokens is dependent on the total number of keys or nodes running and the circulating supply of xi and escrow xi so if you see first scenario is 750 million xi and escrow xi are in circulation so this is circulation guys not the total supply this is a circulation which are in circulation so if that is a the case then let's say we were we are at 25000 uh, century keys purchase so at that point of time the price will be lot higher maybe above 1.6 per uh, century key so that will be very high so very few people will be investing in that so at that price emission will be for uh, per wallet per key uh, we will be making around 1772 tokens monthly so that is a monthly emission guys if the total circulating supply is 750 million but 750 million will be very far away from tge so tge is planned on uh, january so if you see the road map january is a token generation event and if you see the tokenomics all the tokens other than ecosystem team tokens and investor tokens are locked for 6 months and they won't be any tokens from team and investment on the token generation event the only tokens which will be coming out on the token generation event is from the ecosystem tokens which is 2% of the total supply will be unlocked which means if you see uh, total supply is 2500 million tokens into 0.02% uh, which means around 50 million tokens will be in the circulation that too they are for ecosystem which means for money market makers and token uh, uh, for the listing on the exchanges so they don't have the sell pressure so now another part of the tokens which will be in the circulation that is only from the node operator so whatever is farmed till january that only will be in the circulation so if my prediction is correct so by january so january is a token generation event so by january with one single key if you start running the node we can easily farm around 5000 escrow xi token so this is my rough estimate guys this is not correct it may be more or less maybe 3000 or maybe 6000 or even lower maybe 2000 so we are not sure because emission details are not publicly available so right now it is started only 2 to 3 days ago so we cannot see how much users have made in 2 days also so that's why this is my prediction will be earning somewhere around 5000 tokens before token generation event so if that is a the case then we will easily break even i'll tell you why so total circulating supply will be lot lesser so even if the token uh, there is another important thing you should keep in mind which is a redemption process so this escrow tokens we will be receiving them by running the node but if you want to convert them to actual xi tokens which can be traded on exchange then there is a redemption process the redemption process cooling period starts from minimum 15 days after 15 days for example today you got 100 tokens to your wallet so once today is over so after 15 days if you redeem so only after 15 days you can redeem them so if you redeem all those 100 tokens you will receive only 25% of the tokens into your wallet so which means there is a 25% uh, cooling period on this uh, uh, token unlock so that you should keep in mind so uh, once in case if you want to uh, redeem on later date so for example after 90 days if you are redeeming then you will be receiving around 62% of tokens and if you wait for 180 days then you will be able to receive 100% of the tokens uh, unlock so there is a cooling period so even though let's assume we have farmed around 5000 tokens on uh, by token generation event into Uh, let's say we are burning the all the tokens and we are redeeming them on day one, so which means 0.25 percent will be redeemed on day one, which means we will be getting around 1250 tokens on your wallet on the token generation event. So if the project lists at one dollar, then we will be easily break even with our capital, and rest of the months we will be simply making money. So that is my prediction, but it could be totally wrong, and I could also be wrong. So that's the backdrop about the project. So now let's summary summarize the positives and negatives of the project. So coming to the positives, this is directly a project coming from Offchain Labs from Arbitrum. So that is one huge positive thing. Second thing, this particular project is partnered with Team Secret. This is one of the biggest uh, e-sports brand, which means once the project launches some games on it, that games will be on mainstream through this. teams uh, secret so that is one good thing then 
this is a l3 l3 solution that is built uh, launched on that is getting launched on uh, arbitrum so that is also one positive sign because uh, uh, arbitrum also will be pushing this particular project from there so that is one thing then it is backed by well known projects in the industry like uh, cms ventures animoca brand and multiple other vcs also supporting this project so now coming to the negatives so coming to the negatives this is uh, entry cost is very high around thousand dollars you need to spend then these are non transferable tokens you cannot uh, sell them on marketplace secondary marketplace and then node maintenance is required so you need to run the node 24 by 7 so if you want you need to buy the vps monthly rent for that and even for the reward claiming you need to load the wallet with some gas fees so around 10 dollars worth of fees per month to claim then there is a burn redemption process so that is also one uh, negative thing so keeping all these positives and negatives you can decide whether you to purchase this uh, node or not so now if you made up the mind to purchase this uh, particular node now continue watching the video i'll show you how you can set up this uh, specific node and run it on the vps so for doing that let's start with the purchase so for making the purchase you need to go to the official website of the project so on the website you will be uh, clicking on purchase tab so on this you can select how much uh, how many nodes you want to how many node keys you want to purchase so i am purchasing around uh, two nodes here so now uh, for that if you use this code so discount code will be in the description below you can use this or if if is another discount code you will get five percent discounts instantly and two nodes i am purchasing for 0.88 dollars so sorry not dollars 0.88 ethereum so now you can click on all check boxes and connect the wallet and once you connect the wallet you can complete the transaction so the tokens should be available in your arbitrum chain and arbitrum ethereum will be used for this purchase so keep that in mind so now once the purchase is completed you can see the there is a uh, click here to download uh, a node download and run node option so just click on that then uh, download this for windows install it and run it so once you run the node your node windows node will be open so you can click this i already own a key then enter your public key so enter your key from your wallet so this is a public address of your uh, wallet in which you have purchased two keys so just enter that click on done and your wallet is loaded successfully now you can see your wallet is having two keys and that two key status are seen here they are not running right now so immediately what you have to do is right now right side you can see this resolve option so just click on that so once you install this node so this node will create a sentry wallet for you so which will be the operating wallet with which we can run the node so that wallet is shown here we need to load this wallet with some funds only then node will be running so for that we need to uh, load it with at least 0 0.005 ethereum on arbitrum so just copy this address go to your metamask wallet and fund it from any other wallet or centralized exchange so just enter 0 0.005 ethereum and send it to that specific wallet so now come to the sentry wallet page and you can refresh here you can see on the top this wallet is created by the node and we have loaded it with the funds so again click on the resolve and now we have to assign keys so now we have to delegate our keys from our wallet to sentry wallet which is created here as a operator wallet so just click on assign keys so you'll get this page here you need to connect with the same wallet in which you have the keys and do the transaction once you do that your keys will be assigned to this entry wallet here up here so now you can see all the three tick marks are done now you need to complete the kyc to redeem the token so this is also one drawback you need to keep in mind if you are uh, falling under restricted countries you will not be able to run this node so to keep that in mind and only uh, purchase this if your country is supported to uh, uh, redeem these tokens and complete the kyc so now basic steps are completed so now let's uh, purchase the vps and start running our node so now in case if you want to run in windows you just need to keep this node open it will start running in case if you want to do it on a vps so you can go to put uh, pq hosting link will be in the description below so go to products and services select virtual private servers and come down and purchase this option which is 8.2 uh, around 8.2 uh, dollars so uh, uh, specifications are 4 gb ram 2 cpu core and 60 gb ram so uh, sorry 60 gb disk space so that is all available here so just click on order select ubuntu 22.04 click on pay and complete the purchase using your crypto or any other payment options so once the order is placed come back to products and services virtual private server you can see your server is getting activated after five minutes refresh the page click on panel and then click on these three dots and click on change password and create a password so now we have the password and vps ready open the putty software so we are using putty software link will be in the description below just select your vps ip address copy it paste it in putty 
click on open accept and now your putty software is open so now enter the password which we have created in the panel then once that is done your panel is ready so now this right side code will be in the description below this notepad i'll keep it in, uh, download link in the description below you can download this and then you need to run codes one by one so i have given a screen option also so that even if you close the putty software our node will be running in the background simultaneously so just run these codes one by one then uh, copy the third command for screen creation paste it and in the screen we'll be running and setting up our uh, 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 node. So just paste these codes one by one so i've given all the codes in the notepad just run the codes and now we need to unzip the uh, client uh, then the last command of sentry node so just run that after that so now it will ask you to uh, enter another command which is a boot operator so once you do that it will ask you to enter the private key of the operator so this is important thing so the private key is a key uh, if you are you need not give the private keys of your wallet which is having the uh, keys purchase so that is not the wallet guys so this is the private key of the operator so in the sentry wallet they have created an automatic wallet right so you have to export that private key into our node so to do that just click on these three dots click on export sentry wallets then you will see a private key copy that private key and come back to the node and right click so your private key will be pasted here and then you can see your address is loaded owner address keys my both keys are loaded here and they started farming escrow xi so that's all that's how you set up your node on desktop and vps so now there is another thing so if you want to go back to previous screen now you can see here the operator has finished booting and you will uh, end escrow die every uh, escrow die every few days so rewards will be created to your wallet every few days now press control plus a plus d on windows uh, so to come back to the screen or in case if you close the put in if you want to access and check the status later you can just enter this screen space hyphen r space xi and then it will restore your screen window and you can see where it started it is still there so you can track your wallet so even if you're closing putty you can by using the screen last command you can access your uh, uh, node and you can check your statistics so that's all guys that's how you set up uh, 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 Zai's uh, sentry node and run it so in case if you are interested you can uh, follow this and keep the risks in mind only then you invest this is a long term investment you cannot even sell this sentry node in secondary marketplace because this is a sole bond token so now if hope this video was useful for you so let's hope we'll make some decent profit by this investment maybe uh, let's hope for the best so that's all guys if you like this video click the like button if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comment section below so that's all guys thanks for watching Jai Hind.